Hi guys, welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty. We are making today, um, all of our fall solstice soaps are inspired by Michael Jackson's songs. You guys didn't get to see me make this last year. I was kind of in a hurry to make all my fall soaps, so you only got to make me, or only got to see me, I think, make Smooth Criminal. But that's beside the point. You didn't get to see me make Remember the Time. Um, there's a backstory behind this uh, where my son-in-law is concerned and I'll tell you about that after I get my yogurt and cream mixed in here a little bit better and we'll add our lye. Um, it's my Hathor recipe so in my lye there's just distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt and sugar. Let's add this. My son-in-law whom I am very close with he is so great. He's a great dad. Woo! I just got lie all in there. He's a great dad. He's a great husband. He's just all around a great hard worker. He does everything he needs to as a man for his family. I love him to death. Well, his mother passed away and this fragrance, uh, apple cinnamon, Kathy's house always, always 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 smelled like apple cinnamon so when we added this soap when we added this fragrance to our solstice line um i had to name it remember the time because for him because it just was that important for me to do that i know that seems a little uh that's what i'm looking for S sappy but that's the way it was let me get this uh to emulsification I'm going to go over the colors. Yeah, my granddaughter Ava's middle name is Kathleen after Kathy. Um, and Kathy never got to meet Ava. So she never got the joy of that amazing little girl that you guys know how amazing she is. Because you guys get to see her all the time. And how funny and sweet and thoughtful she is. It makes me sad. But... And that Zayden was so little, he barely remembers. I can't believe I was going to put that on my thing. He barely remembers her, which is kind of sad. She was uh, a great lady. She definitely told everybody how it was, for sure. We had that in common. Kathy and I did. Okay, so we're using my big bucket again. So obviously we're making two loaves. And I'm going to try not to spill this all over the counter like I did with, I don't know if it's last week's or next week's, um, head over feet. Because that was a big, huge mess, y'all. Big, big, huge mess. And I am going to be stick blending all of my colors in. So, I don't have to worry about too much as far as that goes. Um, we will be doing it from lightest to darkest. Um, this fragrance does discolor a little bit. And like the head over feet, I over saturate it. Well, I mean, I don't use too much water, but I put a lot of TD into my water, um, which that's what this is right here. So it turns kind of like a creamy white. And we're going to use our Granny Smith Green. Oh, you know what? i got to take some of this out of here before I put that in there. I have a little bit of, um, what's it called? Oh, what is that color called? Lily Pad Green. <laughs> Which is my favorite green to make leaves with because I'm going to put leaves on top of my embeds again. So here is our Granny Smith green. I mean, need a little bit more than that. Okay. And I'm going to use really red. Let me get this out of the way. You guys probably can't see anything, can you? And let's hope I can get this open. You know, I told myself, open that before you get on camera. And what do I do? I don't open it before I get on camera. Okay. So we need a little bit of our really red. Don't need a lot of it because, you know, this is some pretty powerful stuff. Oh, that should do. Okay. Alrighty. Let's close this so it doesn't get all on my counter. And like I said, we'll go from lightest to darkest and I'll use my uh, 
frother for the lily pad. Okay. Woo, come off, come off. There you go. Oh my gosh, guys, I've got like soap everywhere. Let me stick these in here. I gotta get that green down some. Because I didn't scrape down my my bowl there when I put the when I poured it into this little cup here. Alright, let me yeah, we just need a little teeny bit. Hopefully I'll be able to put enough pressure on the piping bag. There's such a little bit in here. But I don't want to have to over pour. Okay. So we are going to be using our purple molds for this. Let me put my fragrance in. Let's not forget. And by the way, if you're getting your apple cinnamon from Nature's Garden, always remember they have two of them. And when you put in apple cinnamon, the one for candles comes up first, not the skin safe one. It literally comes to you and says skin safe on it. So you have to like click on the link to get the skin safe one. While I do make candles in this fragrance, I, you know, I buy the skin safe one even for my, my candles. Sorry, there was like a pool, there was a pool of uh, <laughs> alcohol in there. Okay, so we're gonna pour our weight. It's about right there. Stop. Pour our weight to about right there. Stop. We will be piping on the top of this. Gosh, you guys. I am so sorry. And I didn't bring you guys in closer either. Look at me. I'm just like, la di da di da Let's just do this. Woo! See? I'm spilling it everywhere. I'm spilling it everywhere. Oh! MG, y'all. That did not fall on my foot, by the way. Because as you can probably tell, I'm wearing shorts. But I will have to pick it up and wash the floor once I'm done here. I was afraid it was going to fall on my foot, that's for sure. I'm not even in a hurry! And I just got my brand new mold and all dirty! I just bought um, some more of these purple molds because I was like <laughs> running really low on them. And now I have um, 10 of them because everything's being done double now and I want to make sure I have enough molds. My husband is going to hopefully start working on some slab molds and some uh, double. Uh, so I guess they would be 10 pound molds where they'd be 17 bars, but I'd be able to use my log splitter. Hold on. Okay, wash my hands. Sorry, guys. See, this is the life of a sober. It's real life. 100 around here, I'm telling you. Okay. Alcohol. All right. I'm sorry, you know, I'm a freak about sanitation, which I guess is a good thing. All right. Oh, great. And now I need another spatula. Because oh. I used my other spatula. And I'm going to have to use my hanger, which guess what, guys? I already had planned just in case. But I got to be really, really careful. Because that green and that red can what? Turn brown. Got to love those contrasting colors. Let's 
the one thing about contrasting colors that woo -wee, don't like. Okay, I started painting my granddaughter's mural today, you guys. I laid down the first layer of blue and I called her on the phone because I texted a picture uh, to her, her mom. And I called her and I said, did you see the picture I sent to your mom? And she was like, no. I said, well, ask your mom to, sorry, ask your mom to show you the picture I sent. And she did, and her mom showed her, and she was like, oh, Mimi, I'm so excited. <laughs> that was so great. Okay, I'm going to spray this with some alcohol and move it to my stove. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up my, well, I'm going to move them to the stove one at a time. How's that? Let's do it that way, since we're having trouble. Whew. Okay. Put this in my piping bag. Yeah, this fragrance doesn't usually take too long to set up, as you can see clearly. It's great to work with, with candles, though. You know, the fragrance really sticks, especially with my uh, custom blend that I use of the paraffin and soy. It really does work quite well. Yeah, I gotta bring that down some so I can fit the rest of it in there. Okay, let's do this. These big buckets are fantastic, but I definitely need to get used to scraping them out. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna finish scraping this out, uh, out off camera, and I'll see you guys back for the piping. I probably won't even have time to do the dishes. Okay, I guess I never turned you guys off. I did the dishes with you guys uh, playing there in the background. Okay. So, let me grab a chopstick. Oh, I need to put gloves back on because this bag is pretty full. And I'm probably going to have samples. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. There's two loaves to cover here. Maybe. I'll put my gloves on with semi-wet hands. That's always a lot of fun. Oh. When I went upstairs to grab the camera and my uh, drink before I came down here. The Rock is on with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. Whenever I see that movie, like even on or on the menu, or I'm sorry, I'm taking a drink. Like on the TV guide or whatever, all I can think about is that great one-liner that Nicolas Cage delivers in that movie after the bad guys catch him the first time trying to figure out how Sean Connery got out of his cell because you know Sean Connery plays the only person to escape and live from Alcatraz and he, Nicolas Cage is lying on the on the floor of the cell he's in and he said I'm just trying to figure out how in the name of Zeus's butthole did you open your cell <laughs> sorry Oh my good! I think this might be too fluid. Well, maybe not. Okay. So we're going to do one and two. One and two. I should have marked these molds. So we're going to have to pretend I know what I'm doing as far as like placing them. Can we both agree that I don't always know that? Because I don't. Woo! There you go, Suan. Spray yourself. Because you don't have enough light burns these days. Oh my goodness. You can wear all the personal protective gear you want. Not, it was a few days ago. I didn't even know that I had spilled soap on my knee of all places until it started burning. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I've been pretty cautious about gloves and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Gotta love it. Oh, it's thundering outside. Great. That means my kitchen is going to get more wet, honey. 
No. When the furnace, I think I told, maybe I told you guys this already. When the furnace people came, they didn't like seal something correctly and my husband still has yet to have time to do it. So, so okay, now in bed. Now this I do have to take my gloves, well, yeah, I do have to take my gloves off because they're melting poor to grab them. Ugh. And the yogurt for my next soap is on here. Okay, I'm going to turn this this away. Oh, this way. So then that way I can put this beside. Okay, so we have red apples and green apples. Not all of them have the stems. This mold is very, very, very particular. I probably should have sprayed them. And these are pretty much three quarters of an inch. So they're going to be back to back to back to back to back. And I'll have to keep adjusting. I like to go back and forth to drive my uh, niece crazy. <laughs> well, that and it looks pretty for the loaf pictures. Oh, those are probably going to have to be moved. Just an eensy bit. An eensy bit. I'm going down, not this coming up weekend, but the following weekend to go do a show with Amanda in Flat Rock, which should be fun because she and I have not done a single show together this year. So, yeah, it'll be fun. And we both, uh, we both now have the new Square POS system for, I have mine and she has hers, which makes things extremely easy. We don't no longer have to write paper receipts for our customers. It just pretty much it's, you know, we click on whatever line it is. We press on the, you know, prices are already loaded and it keeps inventory for us. And yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. I wish we would have done it last year when Amanda suggested it the first time. Amanda's like, we really need to do this. And I'm like, mm, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I should have said, mm, yes. Because, you know, it just should have been done. And like I said, I'm going to have to keep playing with these. I'm only going to put the apples on one of them for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, there's just one more than the last time you counted two in. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with these. So I'm going to let you guys go. I will bring you back for the cut. The only other thing that goes on these are each apple is going to get um, a leaf. So, and you'll see that for the cut because that's, uh-oh, my lights just blinked. Well, that's all we need, honey, is for our lights to go out again. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go before the lights go off. Back to cut, re blah, blah, blah. Back to cut remember the time. Some of these apples are a little screwed up. I am definitely going to have to. I don't know how this managed to get, like, so much water. I mean, I know I just unmolded them today, and they came right out of the freezer. But, okay, so I'm teaching Amanda how to... Um, cut soap. She had never done it before. And if she can cut soap, that means I'm going to cut soap. But with an end piece, I take just a little bit off. About a quarter of an inch. So, and then that way, when you go to do, sorry guys, when you go to cut at your inch mark, then you're cutting in between the apples. Okay, so Amanda's cutting. And if, if the bars are a little bit smaller because I had my apples a little screwed up, whatever, you know. All right. You know how we do. <clears throat> Perfect. So sometimes I just look from the above, you know, just, yeah, there you go. And sometimes it's really funny because sometimes I'll have to take a nut, move the bar back. Because you don't want to get a line down. And then a line again. Right. So we're going to show everybody this side. And then we're going to show everybody this side. 
Ta-da! Remember the time. Remember the time when we... Oh, sorry. So I'm having a Michael Jackson moment these last couple of days. They're just... I'm sure they're happy I didn't sing Thriller to them. I can sing Thriller to you. <laughs> yeah, pull it back. I did. Pull it I back. Did. I did. I did. Pull it back. Yeah, I did. Yeah, show me the other side. See, because I thought... She failed to I'm show pretty. you... Look at the apple. I know they're so cute. Well, they didn't. They didn't get to see me put the leaves on them because I was uh, having issues. Uh, there's so much water in it because I was having issues with uh, piping setting up. So they didn't. You get guys, to see she me came back, leaves. but if she was gonna stay away, oh, I'm sorry. The I'm water saying. on oh. here. Oh. I well, could have just added oh. more sparkles, and no one would have known. <laughs> but she came back. Yeah, I did. I came back. I can't help myself. It looks really good. It looks just like it did last year, which is a good thing because people expect that, right? Oh, here, you can hand it to me. What am I doing? I'm staying away from you and letting you cut soap. God, Amanda, cut the soap. What's the matter with you? Guys, one day I'm going to run this business. <laughs> you are. You are. You are. So I need to learn how to do everything. That's right. I so think we lost a leaf. That's okay. Whatever. We lose leaves all the time. No, these all have leaves. It must be on the one that you're about to cut. No, they all have leaves. No, I don't know. Maybe I put an extra one on somehow. Maybe it was hanging out on the side. I don't know. Who knows? I made the damn thing. So who? Oh, excuse my language. Who knows what what I did? She's a maniac. Do. <laughs> I don't know what video is going to go up first. I'm a little quirky. This one or Smooth Criminal? Are you showing them the bars? Yeah, they get okay. to see it. All right. Just checking. But my the aunt and I are doing our first show this year together, and I'm so excited. Yeah, we've been doing shows separately, and now we get to do one together. I'm very excited. She's That's even going to come have a slumber party at my house. I am. That's also because I live over an hour away, but... <laughs> when I made this soap, I told them that this would drive you crazy. How I did the apples on this one. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Guys, I'm that person, I only do things in odd numbers. Like, I chew the same amount on both sides of my mouth. I, I'm that person. Um, my radio always has to be on an even number, <laughs> and my aunt has tormented me. Oh, there's the leaf that's missing. It's on the other loaf. Right there. Because look at This is how it went. They are not unison. Right. And on the next loaf that I'm about to hand, she's about to hand to me, um, they that's are very skinny. far from unison. That's really skinny. Okay, no, you can't pick that up. <clears throat> okay, we're going to say goodbye. So we can uh, clean up this other loaf and stuff. Amanda's still going to cut it. So we will see y'all later. Why did you throw the leaf away? Because I can't put it back on there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes. We will see you guys later. Bye guys.